So we've spoken a little bit about the power consumption on board and how we get that. We talked briefly about the E4 unit, but that's basically the supplementary power source from our main power source, which are these lovely, so you see in front of us, they come from MIPV. We've got three on the aft cabin and three on the floor cabin. You can't see, but you can see the beautiful Johnny Ward and Mr. Hesseltine rowing out, away. The sun's out, guns out. Um, and these are different to any other solar panels. I'm not a solar panel expert, but I can tell you a little bit about why we've gone with these. First of all, the guys at MIPV were extremely helpful, um, really got behind what we were doing, and you know, really believe in the, the reasons behind the challenge, which is the mental health stuff. A chap called James came down and, and measured everything up and was very helpful in discussing why we should have what we have. But essentially they're extremely lightweight, which is always important on the boat. They're incredibly flexible, and a lot of solar panels claim to be partially flexible. I don't know what partially flexible is, uh, but these things you can literally roll up. We'll add a photograph in that shows that when we had to make the repairs in Fuerteventura, we literally peeled back the solar panel itself and rolled it up. And I don't know any other panels that you'd be able to do that without breaking the cells and, and, and damaging them basically and rendering them useless. Um, e even I can fit these things on. They've got the self-adhesive backing that you just roll out and stick down. So they're really incredibly easy to put on and that means you can take spares with you and change it if one of them does fail. We haven't had that happen. We don't expect it to happen. Um, and the guys at MIPV can also cut them to fit. So once you've fitted all of your array of antennas on there and other bits and pieces, that means you can measure up and get a maximum amount of, uh, of, of area of footage or meterage or whatever it is to give you the maximum amount of power. Um, they're set so that, I can't remember, I think it's like a low voltage thing, so they get power throughout the whole of the day. As soon as the sun comes up, it's a very low amount, but they start charging up straight away, which is really good. And I'll send another photograph, which you've got from the app, from the, um, the, the Victron MPPT uh, monitor. Uh, to show that we're getting over one kilowatt hour per day of power from this, which is really, really good. In fact, it means we, we don't have to put the ether on all that much, and we are quite power hungry. So this is we want to say thank you very much to the guys. We really appreciate it. And again, if there's any of you out there that are looking into doing Ocean Rowing, I'd really consider giving them a call uh, because they're, like I say, I'm no expert, but the best ones that we've come across so far. Thank you very much, James, and to the crew at MIPV. Say bye, guys. Bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>